Welcome to Cooking with Oma. I want to wish everyone a very happy new year and I hope you enjoyed my recipes from the first series. Now this is 2013 and my first thing I'm going to make is my famous Hungarian cabbage rolls. And the ingredients for that are one head of cabbage, one pound of ground meat, half pork, half uh, beef, one cup of sauerkraut, a half a cup of short grain washed rice, one cup of very finely diced onions, two tablespoons of red sweet Hungarian paprika, two tablespoons of oil, I use olive oil but you can use any kind of cooking oil, and my spices, black pepper, garlic powder, salt, maggi, and then we need some VA juice, it's a small uh, bottle I'm using today, it's 950 milliliter. And now the first thing we are going to do is get the cabbage ready. I'm cutting off the end of the cabbage, which as you can see, a little hard for my little old hands. Now I'm coating it. Take the hard part out in the middle. Now it's all done. Now I'm going to put it in the boiling water. There you go. Bring it to a boil again until the leaves start to soften. And as they soften, the first few, it will take about five minutes. Then I'm going to take my fork, take the leaves off one by one, put them in a colander. And when all that, the whole cabbage is done, I'm going to make the filling. The leaves are all done, ready to be stuffed. Now we are getting the filling ready for the cabbage. Rice. Onions. Oil, two tablespoons of the paprika, spices, just uh, you can make them spicier or not so spicy, I don't like them too spicy. Do is just put more pepper in. Just a dash, and then about the pour a cup of water for now. And I'm mixing that, mixing it up. And I'm not sure if I mentioned it when I mentioned the ingredients about the rice. The rice has to be uncooked. Never cook the rice before you put it in your uh, filling. Before I stuff the cabbage, I'm lining the bottom of the pot with some little pieces of cabbage that were broken. The reason for that is so that the cabbage rolls don't have a chance to stick. I'm taking my sauerkraut. The sauerkraut is, it will give it a little bit of a tangy taste. And that's the whole idea of the Hungarian cabbage rolls. Now, I'm making the rolls and this is how you do it. Fold it in like this, overlap the other side. And then just take the ends and tuck them in. Just like this. This one, put it in, and the amount of the filling depends on how big the leaves are. If they are small, you put less in. If they are big, you put a little more in. Some people like them small. My daughter loves them small because she says it looks nicer, but my brother loves them big. Now this size of cabbage I had uh, and the amount of meat, like one pound, made about 13 cabbage rolls. 
Now, if your cabbage leaves would be bigger, you might have only gotten 10. Now, I'm going to put the VA juice on. And this is a little hard. Can you open it for me, son, please? Thank you. Now, in goes the juice. It should cover the whole amount. Just in case it doesn't, you can put a little bit of water over it. I'm putting some water in, so it's just about covered. Now I'm going to put the pot on the stove, on a starting it on a medium-high heat, bring it to a boil, and once it's boiled, turn the heat down to about medium or a little less and simmer it for about an hour and 15 minutes. 20 minutes before the cabbage rolls are done, I'm making a roux. And the roux is a type of a sauce that will uh, make the cabbage rolls taste uh, just that much tastier. And the ingredients for the roux are a heaping tablespoon of Crisco, a half a cup of finely diced onions, two tablespoons of all-purpose flour, and one tablespoon of uh, sweet Hungarian paprika. Now, I'm going to put the crisco in my little pot here. Melt it. The heat is medium. The crisco is melted. I'm putting my onions in. I like that seasoning sound. Now we are going to just stir this until they are, uh, they don't have to be brown or anything, just translucent, just a little soft. Onions are done now. I'm putting the flour in, mixing it up again. This will take another two, three minutes. This has to be golden brown. And just in case I didn't mention it, the heat is on medium. I'm going to put the paprika in. To give it a little color. And then, I put the water in. And then it's just to boil. Now it comes to a boil, turn the heat off, I'm putting it over the cabbage rolls through a sieve so that there is no little pieces or anything in there, the sauce will be nice and smooth. See there is the onions left and that's it, and I'm just going to give it a little shake, and yummy looking, I'm going to put the lid on and simmer it for another 20 minutes and then it will be ready for taste. My cabbage rolls are done and it's time to taste. It's yummy, just like usually. I hope you will enjoy my cabbage rolls. And thank you for watching Cooking with Oma. Until the next time, bye bye. Did you enjoy that, son? It was yummy. Thank you. <laughs>